If you have a 10.4 terminal, a Vario Guide system and the latest software update, version 7.81 on the tractor, you will have brand new features in your map view. The features come free of charge with a software update from your dealer. If you want to use this function, please go to the terminal main screen, pressing the button which is responsible for the screen layout. Afterwards, select the map function in at least one of the squares of the terminal. Then, press the OK button. You will now see the map in the lower section of the terminal. Touch the button shown in the picture to enlarge the map view to full screen. Once in the full screen mode, you will see the new options on the right hand side. The button at the lower end will allow you to select the function of the shortcut buttons. If you touch this key, a slide bar will show up offering the possibilities to select the menu you want to see. Pushing the key with a spanner will lead you to the conventional mode. In the conventional mode you have the possibility to 1. Define the worked area settings and color of trim lines. 2. Set and manage markers. Pushing the key on the bottom will lead you back to selection of the menu. Now select the Add mode. In the Add mode you have the possibility to add different things to your map, such as A. Add a boundary B. Add a wayline C. Add an obstacle D. Add a marker. Please note that for all these modes the reception of a GNSS signal is mandatory. Pushing the key on the bottom will lead you back to selection of the menu. Select the Settings mode. In the Settings mode you will have options such as A. Set section control to Auto, Man, B. Turn headland mode of section control on or off. Please note, for both options you have to have section control unlocked and enabled on the machine. GNSS reception is also mandatory. C. You can also switch Auto TI on or off. Please note that for this option the option Teach in Automatic and GNSS Reception are mandatory. D. You also have the possibility to manually push the field Road Switch. The third key on the right is for selection of the current wayline. Once pushed, a menu will open up showing the waylines which are currently saved for the field selected. You can select one wayline by pushing it. Afterwards, press Confirm. You will now see the waylines in the field. To use other waylines, repeat the procedure and select the required wayline. Please note that reception of GNSS signal is necessary for this task as well as the pre-activation of the Wario Guide system by pushing the standby key in the armrest. The last key will open up the menu for wayline nudge options. With these options you can A. Reset the current nudge value to 0 meters. B. Enter a current nudge value. C. Move the waylines to the left with the value entered before. D. Center the waylines to the current position. E. Move the waylines to the right with the value entered before. Please note that GNSS reception is required to operate these functions. These buttons are also present in the half screen view of the terminal. And in the quarter screen view on the right and on the left hand side. Thank you.